a lovely love story. The fierce dinosaur was trapped inside his cage of ice. Although it was cold, he was happy in there. It was, after all, his cage. Then along came the lovely other dinosaur. The lovely other dinosaur melted the dinosaur's cage with kind words of loving thoughts. I like this dinosaur, thought the lovely other dinosaur. Although he is fierce, he is also tender and he is funny. He is also quite clever, though we will not tell him this is for now. I like this lovely other, other dinosaur, thought the dinosaur. She is beautiful and she is different and she smells so nice. <laughs> she is also a free spirit, which is quality I much admire in a dinosaur. But he can be so distant and so peculiar at times, thought the other, lovely other dinosaur. He also overly fond of things. Are all dinosaurs so overly fond of things? But her mind skips from here to there so quickly, thought the dinosaur. She's also uncommonly keen on shopping. <laughs> are, all lovely, are all lovely other dinosaurs so uncommonly keen on shopping? I'll forgive his peculiarity <laughs> and his concern for things, thought the lovely other dinosaur. But they are part of what makes him a richly charactered individual. I'll forgive her skipping mine and her fondness for shopping, thought the dinosaur. For she fills her life with beautiful thoughts and wonderful surprises. Besides, I'm not unkeen on shopping either. <laughs> now the dinosaur and the lovely other dinosaur are old. Look at them. Together they feel they stand on the hill telling each other stories and feeling the warmth of the sun on their backs. And that, my friend, is how it is with love. Let us all be dinosaurs and lovely other dinosaurs together. For the sun is warm and the world is a beautiful place. Go into the world and fulfill your lives, hold fast your ideals, and give to one another through experiences of joy and challenge one another that you may grow. May the love you hold for each other, now sealed in marriage, continue to mature, that your life together may be a source of strength and inspiration to the community of your family and to the wider circle of the world. Now that Emily and Trevor have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings, by the power vested in me, I happily pronounce that they are husband and wife.